today's video we're going to walk through a 2017 Lagoon 39 not just any Lagoon 39 my Lagoon 39 which could be your Lagoon 39 uh, this video is for potential buyers or people who just want to see what a Lagoon 39 looks like and what makes our special what makes our stand out and what makes ours better than all the other Lagoon 39s out there Our boat name, Sun Bums. We have a storm anchor, Mantis anchor. You have your own personalized fenders. That if you don't have room for them, want to take them down, they're blow up, you just shrink them down, put them in storage. You get two of those. You have covers for all your hatches. You all know UV sun is damage to the plexiglass, to the seal that goes around the windows almost all of our windows hatches up top here all but three of them have new seals replaced in them here's the general overall view look at that solar arch 2700 watts of solar no wonder we didn't use our generator this season in the bahamas we don't need to we got 2,700 watts of solar, 48 volt lithium batteries, and some gel house bank batteries. Closer look at that, that's a Mercury two-stroke 15 horsepower engine with a Dolphin, which will get that bad boy planing real fast. I've outrun 25 horse four strokes before. You can't get those in the US anymore. You can see we have a red port glow, which has a Meridium Go in it. Our Starlink, well, that's going to go with us because personally, I don't know how to transfer a Starlink over to, to someone. But the mount's going to stay there. So if someone else wants the mount, uh, well, the mount is just going to stay there. We have a SimRad radar. Now, I just didn't go with any SimRad radar. This one goes 48 nautical miles. That's a powerful radar rolling jib self tacking new sail bag and we have a hard top most lagoon 39s i know of don't have a hard top and a full enclosure now we have a steel wheel steering wheel cover and the covers that are on our seat well that's just to protect it the, the ones underneath it uh are in, are in good shape because we keep the covers on them full enclosure all around the outside our motor our engines we have upgraded motors let's take a look at that to get to our motors it's easy and they're roomy these come out. Comes out. There's three of them. That's also where we store our power cord. All right, this is not your standard Yanmar 29 horsepower engine. We also have a few extra um, filters, fuel filters for the uh, the motor, for the generator belts also the engines can be um, accessed without having to get back on the sugar scoop since they open this way you can stand here um, and get in the so I only have part of it open if I want to get the other side just pull this other board out and service it port side 1008 hours starboard 873 our B&G Zeus 3 which you can connect to an iPad on the inside to mirror it B&G Autopilot and I think these are called the Titans which you can uh, uh, Tritons. Tritons you can go through different pages on them um, and this also has different pages instruments turn on a radar right here um, you can go predict wind through the B&G. 
for your autopilot. Up here is our Wi-Fi extender. I don't have the cell extender on right now, um, but it comes, one does come with a boat. I'll let you put that up where you want. All the lines are run right back to the helm. I can do everything from back here, no problem. Our lights, uh, to take a look at our sails, we have a cover over it. Well, that protects uh, from UV damage on our plexiglass up here. I think it's plexiglass. Um, so when we're not sailing, we put the cover on and it, and it uh, protects that. We have lights, white lights. I think one's white and a red. And I think this one back here is a white light. I said this is full enclosure. This piece will come down all the way. You can stay dry on a rainy day. Now you may ask, why is this motor all stickered up? Well, it's stickered up so it doesn't look so pretty and new. And so uh, the idea was to de-beautify it some so uh, someone won't steal it. Because it is the two-stroke Mercury 15 horsepower with the Dolphin to help you plane. It planes our... Uh, Eight foot dinghy, I think it's an eight foot dinghy. No problem, two people on it. Last thing to mention is it also has a strap for lifting it off and putting it onto the dinghy. Uh, what we do is we have a pulley system that attaches up here, attaches right there. We lift it up, pull it over, and drop it down onto the dinghy. Here's what makes us better than all the other Lagoon 39s out there and mostly all the other sailboats that we know of. 2,700 watts of solar. As I said, it's 48 volt system. Goes into our, our Victron down below, which we will show you that. What we usually do to get the most power out of our solar panels is we'll take our boom and either move it all the way to the left or to the right so our solar panels can get all the sun they deserve for the most power. Our sack pack, also made with Sunbrella, it was done in 2022. Good shape, covers everything from the front to the very end. Our trampoline, put on in 2022, is from Sunrise Yacht Products. It's an offshore trampoline, easy to walk on, doesn't hurt your feet like the standard lagoon trampolines. We have, of course, our Mantis Storm Anchor. Also comes with, uh, this boat also comes with uh, the standard anchor that came with the boat. We have our Mantis Swivel. We have our Mantis Chain Hook. And the Mantis Snap Shackle. Which I usually, if I know I'm going to go to Mooring Ball, I just leave this on here all the time. I'll just take that bolt out, put it on there, and hook up to the ball. And this actually has a locking me mechanism, so uh, you can't pull it out. So, and to unlock it, you twist it, and then it pulls out and you can get it. But, so, great, we used that several times for Mantis, love it. Storage on the Lagoon 39. This is on the port side. Storage about anything you want. We usually put fenders in here extra water fishing poles our generator Fisher Panda 10,000 I 79 gallon water tank windless 300 foot of chain those old wooden seats that come with the boat those are no good after a couple years they start splitting you get splinters in your butt can I say that? I guess I can say that. We have starboard. Replace it with starboard. Take a look at that. That's not going to rot. You don't have to varnish it. You have to, don't have to do anything. Just put it up there, take a seat. You'll be fine. 
the only storage we didn't talk about is there's some storage underneath the seat here there's uh, your propane tanks underneath this seat speakers on the outside here easy access to the helm you can see all four corners up here so when you're docking you can see everything Take a quick view on the inside of our Lagoon 39 year 2017 we are protected by Barnacle. What is a Barnacle? Barnacle is a cell-based unit that uh, goes off cell towers, which tells you your position of your boat, the humidity of the boat, lets you know if someone enters. It has a camera. lets you know if someone enters the boat by either motion detection or someone opening one of the door or one of the hatches. It will let you know uh, through a, a text, email, and we'll send you a picture. All right, it comes with uh, well, it comes with a microwave, uh, cabinets up top, plenty of space for everything. Right now, we have the table off. We just like to use the ottoman there. Refrigerator, our trash. We have a Seagull uh, filtration system. It runs right from our water tank, which holds I think uh, 79 gallons, and uh, it also is connected to our pump. So you get water that way, or if your water pump goes out, I have a couple valves down in there that you switch and you just pump it with your foot and you can still get fresh drinking water um, our three burner stove oven freezer stays nice and cold we also have uh, back here is uh, the central unit uh, a Wi-Fi wave which you can put to hook up your Meridium Go, uh, cell extender, uh, and Wi-Fi extender, and it will pick uh, the best and cheapest option. Um, and we have a red port glow that is on top of the helm. Stereo system. This boat has four AC units. A little extra storage down here fuses are down in there there's storage underneath here there's storage all underneath here the AC unit is underneath here more food storage here and food storage right here okay let's go uh, down and uh, take a look at uh, some other parts of the boat this is the owner's version of our lagoon it's on the starboard side so let's take a quick look at it you have your privacy door uh, you can put your books, some books in here. We got boat documents, boat maintenance, whatever you want in here. Emer emergency skate hatch, which has the uh, modification so the windows don't fall out. Uh, some of your electrical in here. You have a big drawer pull out in here. This model has the king size bed. You can sleep this way, you can sleep that way. We also have a four inch topper. Uh, mattress on it mattress pad uh, coal infused so um, it's cool when you lay down it doesn't pick up odors works great for us we have our of course hatch openings one two three four um, plenty of space for all your clothes working desk billage is down below closet space over here extra an extra drawer here and here's a little bit smaller drawer to put uh, uh, a few other knickknacks and things this is part of uh, for our generator and our inverter run running off batteries I've seen it already we have uh, one inverter here it's a pure sign 2000 watt inverter and while we're talking about electrical stuff 
we have four gel batteries that are underneath the bed and I believe the total of those uh, add up to about 730 or 760 uh, uh, amp hours I think that's correct um, and we also have a couple 48 volt lithium batteries that are also underneath the bed but why would you do 48 volts well it's because it's more efficient converting 48 volts to 120 volts because this is 120 uh, volt boat it's not a your European 240 volts so there's nothing special you have to do if you're in the in the US and we're not putting out any power right now because we're plugged into shore power and here is all of our Victron so we have the uh, 48 volt 3000 watt inverter which will run the AC on this side and charge the batteries house bank at the same time MPPT is 150-60 the master bathroom plenty of room I'm 6'1 and uh, I you probably 6'7 and not hit your head in here nice mirror plenty of storage inside down below you also have more storage our sink special feature turns blue turns red when it's hot water a little extra storage in here porcelain toilet full-size shower as you can see plenty of space up top door closes so it's not a wet head uh, it's a dry keeps this nice and dry in your extra window up here full-size mirror on the back of the door here this is what uh, we use uh, this for put our uh, clothesline clips on so full-size mirror there decide to have some guests over well they're on the starboard side this is our table for up top we just keep it down here out of the way uh, because we use the ottoman lots of storage and big nut. This drawer is really big for all kinds of storage. Another AC in over here. Starboard head. Not as big as the owner side, but uh, again, it's uh, it's a dry head. Right now, uh, we have a washing machine in here hooked up to the shower. So when you want to do laundry, you put your clothes in there. Pull this over here, water drains out. And then we just hang our clothes up on the, on the lifelines. Plenty of storage. Third guest room, which is also on the starboard side. Well, we use it as a storage. We have our first aid kit. We have uh, a little bit of food. There's our Rainman water uh, maker. All the manuals. Now that that Rainman water maker is powered by a Honda motor. Uh, also comes with hardware to permanently mount it on the boat. But we just like to keep it in here. And when we need it, we'll uh, put it out in the trampoline and make water. Makes 37 gallons per hour. Thing works great. We have our tools in here. Comes with also an extra big drawer, which we also have uh, some of our tools. These guys also get a nice storage. And another AC unit. Well, we'd like to thank you for watching this video. As you can see, this boat comes with many upgrades, uh, which top other boats in this category and class. Uh, 
if you have any questions we'll leave our information below we we'll also we also have a broker and we'll leave his number and information along with that in case you want to go through him um, but we do have to go through the broker uh, but we're putting this video out by ourselves to help you get a better view of what our boat looks like.